what can I answer for you, Matt? I've, I find that there's a lot of people around me in their own business operating out of an office in their home, as do I. Uh, when do you think... Do you think the world is ready for the mobile professional or do you think there's still a call for uh, a street business address and professional office if, you, if you're not meeting clients in your office? I reckon it's a great question and, um, you know, I reckon, you know, it's, it's one of the beauties of 2018 or the last, you know, five to ten years is that it's socially acceptable to start your business at home. Right. So, um, so I mean, for me, I kind of war against two thoughts. My big thought is this. I war between if you want to run a, you know, a legitimate business, at some point you need to be in an office. Okay? I, think, I think there's a huge amount of kudos that you get from being in an office. I think there's a huge amount of kudos you lose by not being in one. So I think long term, I think it's a play that everybody should make. Okay? I don't really go in for the autonomous team work from home thing. I think... Every time I've seen that tried, it, it ends up as a disaster. So I, I think it's great to bring your team together, even if it's not always, but, but have a place to bring them together. And then I war against the overhead, right? You've got to spend some money on that. And that's, you know, that's a trade-off because if, if it's going to cost you a thousand bucks a month for rent and you can stay at home, you can spend a thousand bucks a month on Facebook ads and get customers or, or, or Google ads and, and get customers or you know, you know, whatever, 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 buy the equipment that's gonna make you faster or, or whatever you need to do, okay? So it makes sense to me that you would stay home for as long as you can handle it. But I do think that when you make the jump from home office to office, and that's made so easy now with co-working spaces or, you know, hot desking or whatever, when you make that jump, something shifts in your head where you start to see your business bigger and you expect more from your business. And then of course your business catches up. So by putting yourself under a bit of pressure and going to get an office, you will grow your business because it forces you to lift you know, your vision, lift your game, lift your activity to make sure that you can achieve that, all right? So, so in my mind, like the short answer for me is, yes, yeah, stay as long as you can, but don't let it become a culture, right? Like stay in your home office, save the money, save the money, redeploy it. When your business is growing, at some point you've got to make that jump and it will actually help you shift the way you think and you will start building a bigger business by default because you just took on the overhead that you're going to have to go pay for and it, and it makes you just think about a whole bigger game and the public will reward you because there'll be a public space. Like when, when a professional services person says, meet me in a coffee shop, I always get a bit sketchy on that, okay? doesn't mean it's not always a good idea, but when there's the option to meet them in the office, I think that's a great idea. So. I mean, put it off as long as you want, but you've got to go get an office. Cool. The uh, it's just, I guess, weighing up that um, weighing up that cost advantage. Yeah, I mean, which I think I'm at the point where I need on. Yeah, and and I think um, I think it depends what you need most right now, right? For if somebody is absolutely scratching around for every dollar to eat, then I'm like, yeah, don't get an office, get customers. If you've got a business behind you that's got a stable base and it's growing even if